Hello everyone, we are moving on to our next task now. Uh, apologies for the music next door, uh, but it's the year 12's rehearsing. Yes, you Ava. So uh, we're moving on to a group presentation which says call assessment type one if you want to find more information out about it. So it's worth 20% of the grade for the year. And as a class, what we do is uh, we pick a play script, which we've got, and we use what we learn about that and apply. The big keyword there is apply what we know about drama, what we know about theatre and then what we know about the play and you put on a sort of mini production. So you get into groups between two and five so we'll have to have two groups in the class or more, we'll see what everyone wants to do and your time limits determined by that group. Um, the teacher acts as a facilitator so I can't direct it for you but what I can do is I can help you and um, you can come to me and sound ideas off me. So while the group works collaboratively, and it should be collaborative, you do get assessed individually. So you need to make sure that you're covering your end as well. Throughout this, what we do is we uh, come up with a record of evidence. That record of evidence is a record of everything that you do towards it. So the notes that you take, the uh, research that you do, keep a record of it so we can put it together. And what it will actually be able to do is it will support your grade and support that you have good knowledge and understanding as well as that application which you will show. Okay, so uh, planning from your group, research you've done, research on skills, uh, and I showed an example of a, a SACE offstage sort of folio, and that went through it. That's available on the SACE website. Now, it's good to look back uh, on previous attempts at this to see what we can learn from those. So at the end of every year, the Chief Assessor for SACE puts out a report. And what he does is he puts that report out and sort of mentions what were the good things, what were the bad things. So that can help influence uh, us. So this is across the state, not just our school. So uh, what the report says that last year, 2016, the best ones, the most successful groups, were founded on good classroom practice where the teacher had clearly explored the play script with the whole class, providing a rich breadth to the student's understanding. So like we're going to do, we're going to read it, we're going to understand it. We're not just going to read it and then do it, we understand its context. What was it that Chekhov was trying to do with the play? Okay, we have to understand it and analyse it. From this foundation, the most successful students further explored the play script from the point of view of the practitioner they had selected. So if you're going to be an actor, you reread the play and you go, okay, I'm going to be Constantine, so I'm going to now look at it from that point of view. Uh, if you're going to be lighting, you go, okay, let's read it now from a lighting point of view. What can I learn? What can I see? The most successful ones were ones in which the analysis was the foundation of developing the outcome. Okay, the analysis. You go, all right, Chekhov was trying to push the boundaries here. What was he trying to highlight? All right, let's look at that, rather than going, let's put on a nice play. Okay, involved clear collaboration between a range of practitioners, so the people in your group. You collaborate with them, work together. Okay, it's clearly brainstormed, planned, experimented, rehearsed, shaped into the final outcome. Okay, they were the most successful in general. If you're an actor, this section's for you. When students approach the task as an actor, they analyse the role of the character within the context of the play, considered vocal and physical approaches to present it. Essentially what this is saying is that they acted. What they did was they decided how they'd stand, what they'd do when the focus wasn't on them, how they would block the play, what did that mean for their character, how they walk, how they talk, etc. Okay, so that's what you do. You make your character your own. When, uh, and now if we look at it from the point of view of a designer, so if you're going to be an offstage person, they had a clear dramatic product and were able to contribute to the whole group presentation. So if you're a set person, you need to make a set, okay? You need to uh, make sure that you do it in line with the analysis and the director, and then that set is used by the actors in your presentation. That if you make a costume, it is worn by them. If you make a soundscape, it is used by them in the filming. All right, and then from there, what we need to work out is have you shown enough of your knowledge and understanding in that? Or do we then need to do, say, um, a bit where you talk over the top or maybe you uh, provide some subtitles with some more information? 
uh, the most successful student responses, oh, this is for the director. So it demonstrated an understanding and interpretation of the script or innovator through different areas of the production. So the students clearly developed a director's vision and presentation so that we knew what you're trying to do and the ideas of the director should be clear in the final outcome. So as we watch it, it should be, oh, this is what the director's done. Okay, I can see that. The less successful ones are ones where you don't make anything, but instead all you do is talk, okay? We've got to apply it. You've got to show you know what it is to apply it. Um, it involved students who just responded individually and so it was hard to actually see that collaboration. So if you're an actor and you want to explain something about your character partway through or something, you maybe do it with the other actor. Okay, that way you can show that collaboration and uh, it, it should be well rehearsed like that. The less successful ones were when they showed knowledge and understanding analysis but no application. So we're getting this key theme and application, application. Okay, so that's the group presentation uh, sort of explained. So we're going to move on to the Seagull in another video. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions about that, but start thinking about what you want to do. Okay.